Hello everyone, welcome to Open Education channel and I am Siddharth Sankar Mishra. This is the first video in the Python tutorial for beginner series. In this video, we will know what is Python, how to set up Python development environment and create a simple traditional hello world program. So I believe most of you know what is Python. But for those who don't know, Python is a modern computer programming language. The best thing about Python is that it is very easy to learn even for programming learners. Nowadays, many schools and universities are using Python as the introductory language for computer programming. So it's the best computer language to learn for the computer programming learners. Python is a powerful, portable, high-level language. So you can run it on many platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux, and Unix. Python supports multiple programming paradigms like functional programming, object-oriented programming, just like Java and c -sharp, Python can also be used for object-oriented programming. Python is a dynamic language, so course of Python executes at runtime that is static programming language performed during compilation. Python is an interpreted language. In interpreted languages, interpreter reads the source code and executes it, while in the compiler-based languages like Java and c -sharp, Source code is compiled by the compiler and after that compiler generates object code or executable. After this, this executable is run which gives the output. With Python, you can create desktop applications, web applications, system utilities, image processing applications, database programming, artificial intelligence and many more kind of softwares. So let's see how to download and install Python. For that, you can search for Python in your web browser. Just type Python in Google and search. Click on the link for python.org and this will take you to the Python homepage. Here, from the menu items, click on the downloads menu. This will bring you to the Python download page. Here you can get the latest version of Python for different platforms like Windows, Mac, Linux and for a different architecture like 32-bit and 64-bit. You can see that two versions of Pythons are available here. 2.7.x version and Python 3. Python 3.x version is the latest version and that's what we will use in this tutorial series. 2.7 version is still offered because there are many websites and application running on 2.7 version so it is still supported. 2.7 version doesn't have many new features like Python 3 had, but Python 3 is backwards compatible, so any code written in 2.7 version can be run on Python 3. So you can click on this Python 3.5.2 link, and by default, this will download 32 bit version of Python. In my case, my system is 64 bit. So I will scroll down the page and here i will click on this download button this will open the python 3.5.2 version download page here you can see multiple files for different platforms like windows mac and the source code of the python is also available these last three are for windows 32 bit and these are for windows 64 bit so i will click on windows x 8664 executable installer for 64 bit version and it will start downloading Python. This can take several minutes depending on your internet connection. After downloading it, run this installer file. Click on this add python 3.5 to path to add python in your system path so you can access and run python from command line click on install now and this will start installing python on your machine this might take a couple of minutes once the installation is completed click on close button now you can open python command line or ide and write and execute your codes so go ahead and in the search bar type python Here's the IDLE Python 
click on this and this will open the Python interactive shell so now we will write code for printing hello world that is the traditional hello world application in computer programming mostly hello world is the first program uh, that we do when we learn in a new programming language and in python believe me this is just a one line of code so all you have to do is just one line of code and it will print hello world so write print bracket double quotation and hello world bracket close so you can use either double quotation or single quotation and this is basically how we represent a string in python so here i have used double quotation you can use single quotation also just go ahead and hit enter and it will print output hello world so this was the traditional hello world application in python in next video tutorial we will see the other features of python programming language thank you